Wow, that is some delightful morning hair. Let's sort this out. Right, that's that's better, much better. I overslept quite a lot this morning. Woke up at half past nine, which is shocking. I really don't like to be in bed past eight o'clock. Like, I feel a bit ew if I'm in bed past eight, unless it's a weekend, but on a Monday. <sighs> Stayed up quite late last night. So I just think I was like really, really tired and needed uh, needed that sleep. But yes, just stayed up quite late last night because um, decided to start watching Dark. I have watched season one last year, I think, maybe when it came out or, or whenever it came out. We did watch season one, but I couldn't really remember what happened. Um, kind of can a little bit now that we've started it it's jogging my memory again but still can't remember most of the plot so we have started dark right from the beginning again because i kept seeing people talk about the new season and i know it's a very confusing program so i am fully prepped for the mind boggling time travel themes that i know that the program has but excited because we haven't had ourselves stuck into a series for a while. What did we watch before that? Oh, we watched Sinner, which... Uh, first two, great. That third one, I was not into that. I feel like there were episodes that were not needed. They could have just been cut out. You know, there were big chunks of it that you could have just missed and you wouldn't have really missed anything detrimental to the storyline. And then when we got to the end, I was a bit like, oh, okay. I just wasn't as gripped as I maybe was in the first two seasons of Sinner, which were great, especially that first one, it was awesome. So yeah, that, that was my evening last night and I'm now paying the price, absolutely shattered. So I'm gonna go for a run. Okay, that run was awful absolutely awful obviously some time has passed since i went on that run because i look quite presentable but that was just awful i managed to run six kilometers which in my head is not very far but it was oh, it just felt like it was never going to end um it was it's really hot today well it's not really hot it's just there's no cloud so just the sun was beating down on me and oh bad light and what else made it bad oh like i'm such a morning runner i find that my runs are most successful when i get out and i do them first thing like before i've done anything else whereas today i didn't i kind of like potted around the house had some food and didn't actually go out for the run until 11 a.m and just ugh, did not have the energy to do it and it felt hideous but obviously feel why is the lighting so bad this camera is terrible because there's perfect amount of light in here but this camera just has a mind of its own mm, okay anyway uh what was i saying obviously feel good that i went for the run oh what is it doing <laughs> there we go i'm just gonna stay here and not move there we go uh since Getting back from the run, I've had an exceptionally boring day of admin. I feel like I've got a ton of things that need returning because I made some, not stupid purchases during lockdown, but just got a bit frivolous with home stuff. So I've got like a duvet that needs returning that was just rubbish, awful duvet. But I've been putting it off for ages because it needs repackaging and obviously a duvet is quite big. And then I have to carry it to the post office. So it's just one of those things I've just kind of put to the back of my mind but I'm very conscious I need to return it before the um return state passes but Dean however has been up to something way more exciting than me um just sorry it just cannot this camera does my head in and I everyone raves about it it's the Canon G7X but I've actually found it to be really um just not not as good as I hoped anyway Dean is building a shed because obviously during lockdown and 
you know, in recent weeks, I have become a little bit more green fingered and that has meant that I've acquired some equipment, you know, forks, spades, tools, and they don't really have anywhere to live. And they've kind of been living in Dean's studio, which is his studio where he paints. It's not a shed, but it is becoming a shed. It kind of houses all of his paintings, but also houses like our lawnmower and just all sorts of other things. So he is building a shed today so that all of that kind of stuff can go in the shed. Let's have a look at your shed then. I don't know how good this will be. I don't know. Your face. <laughs> I mean, it looks cool, like the structure does. Yeah. It looks really cool. Yeah. I just don't know whether, obviously, it'll all be cut off and painted black. I just don't know when you stand back if it will look a bit weird. Because everything else is nice and flat. What do you think? Mm. I don't know, I think I quite like the corrugated yeah. roof, just sort of makes it look like a kind of modern day shed, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. But if you don't like it, we can go for a flat no, roof. No, 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 I'm fine with it. Cool, we'll be able to get the lawnmower in there, will we? No, probably oh, not. Oh, okay. <laughs> basically going to take all of your uh, gardening crap. Oh, okay, so... All of my gardening stuff can go in there. Maybe the streamer. Could we put a shelf in? Yeah, I'll put a few shelves in. Maybe like a shelf that starts like here, just because nothing will be that well, high. No, no, no. For paint and whatnot. And it's such a high shed. Might as well utilise yeah. the full height of it. How exciting. Just went on the biggest run excuse the hair, woke up at seven this morning and just got out there and did it and have had my best run that I've had in ages. My pace was 5.30 per kilometre. Oh, that feels so good. Like I feel so pumped after that. I've not been able to keep my pace consistently under six minutes per kilometre for so long. But I did it the whole way. Every kilometer was under six minutes. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Every kilometer was under six minutes. Oh, I feel like I'm finally getting my pace back. And I do think the key is to get out there early and do it first thing. It felt so good as well. And there was like no one around and I was really going for it. So feeling very good as you can probably tell. Today, I'm going out for lunch with a friend, which is quite exciting because it's the first time I'm going out for lunch. Yeah, this is the first time I'm going out for lunch. There's a cafe in the city that's got quite a big outdoor seating area. So I feel comfortable going there. And also, I think I might do a little bit of shopping. Now, when I say shopping, there's literally just there's an independent bookstore that I want to go to today and I actually want to check out some of the charity shops if they are open just to see what's in them really I just fancy having a good old rummage in the charity shops because I haven't done it for so long and um yeah just want to see if there's any hidden gems and I'm just so fed up with buying books online and really want to just go into a physical bookshop. So there's a really nice little independent bookshop that I believe is open that I'm going to pop into. But that's the extent of my shopping. You know, I'm not going anywhere else. I'm not going in any of big shops or shopping centres or anything like that. So all in all, I feel like today is going to be a good day and the weather is cranking as well. So got this like midweek um just this midweek motivation
little sort of loopy knot trick that I do with my bell. Excuse the mess, that's the aftermath of filming the cutaways. I'm just gonna try and demonstrate how I do it. So you take your slack bit here and you point it downwards and then bring it up under the bell and then what you'll get is this sort of like twisty loop bit here you then take this end point it down put it through that loop and then pull and what you have is just like a little knotted sometimes I just think it's quite interesting to wear your belt like that as opposed to just like that but there you go that's how I do it <laughs> quick OOTD before I leave the house uh, where should I start tote bag from wayward wines t-shirt is from Uniqlo it's that Uniqlo U one that I spoke about last week belt is obviously the Margaret Howe belt that you just mm. saw Jeans are the weekday, oh, what are these? Voyage, I'm pretty sure they're the weekday voyage. And then Dr. Martin's 1461 mono. I should know all of this off by heart now. Back from my little cafe and shopping trip. I've been back for ages actually, I've just been uh, editing today's video which will be up at around 8 p.m. I feel very pleased with myself that I managed to get this done in time today. I was a little bit skeptical as to whether I was going to get it done but I did. Anyway I've just been sat, oh Dean's just started mowing the lawn, I'm going to shut the door. I've just been sat editing camera's focus is really annoying. Anyway, I've just been sat editing with a glass of midweek wine. Today's cafe experience was good. The outside area was very spaced out and it was all fine and socially distanced. My shopping experience, however, wasn't so great. The bookshop that I wanted to go to was only doing order pickups. So basically you couldn't browse, you had to order online and pick up. So couldn't go in there and then I went into a couple of charity shops but like I had my mask on and everyone else had their mask on as well and there was a one-way system and the clothes were being um, sprayed and everything but it doesn't feel like an enjoyable experience it's not very relaxing although the staff in both charity shops that I went into were lovely they were so so nice but as a experience as a whole like the actual act of shopping just doesn't feel as relaxing I kind of felt rushed not that anyone made me feel rushed but you feel like you can't take your time obviously you can't try things on I just felt a bit kind of wary of everything around me and was just quite conscious that I kind of needed to get in look and then go as quickly as possible so that other people could go in because the shops have quite a small limit to how many people they can let in like the charity shops that I went into were only allowing seven people in at a time which isn't many so I was just like oh really conscious of anyone who was maybe behind me who wanted to browse the rail that I was browsing so it's kind of difficult because I wanted to have a real good rummage but I just didn't feel like I could so I don't know if I will try shopping again it just feels really odd but I just wanted to have a browse of the charity shops to see if I could find anything sadly it was not fruitful um, maybe I'll try again in a couple of weeks when we've kind of got used to this new normal of shopping and I guess people are understanding like they are, people understand that they have to wait like I would never if someone was in front of me browsing I would never rush them so I have to just kind of assume that the person behind me is in that same frame of mind and mind and is just as understanding. But, you know, like when you used to go shopping, it was such a different experience. And the act of shopping and the way we do it has changed so much. So 50-50, great cafe experience, not so great shopping experience.
I really don't enjoy working out from home at all. But I need to do these ab exercises because since gyms have been closed, I've not been doing any strength training, which is quite important for running because a lot of your, like if your abs aren't strong and your legs aren't strong, it can really affect your posture. And I've noticed, especially in the last sort of like two months, how much my posture and just general strength when running has deteriorated basically. So I'm trying to get back on the ab workouts at least like twice a week. But I just find it so dull doing it from home. I much prefer doing it in the gym environment because it's just so much more motivating. Like I find the gym environment very motivating. Also, there's machines and weights and I don't have any of that here at home. I don't have any weights. So I'm quite limited as to what I can do. Whereas before I would go to the gym and I'd do a lot of strength training with my legs, especially like my thighs and my bum and then I do ab workouts because it's kind of like that main area that keeps you upright when you're running and at the moment when I'm running I can kind of feel myself slouching a bit. I think gyms open on Saturday but I'm not sure logistically how they're going to work. The ab workout I did was from a YouTube account called Madfit that I discovered through this is what the, this is what it was. It was the 20 minute tonal core ab workout. So it's quite a long ab workout, 20 minutes. And I discovered Madfit through Allegra Shaw, because I watch her vlogs quite a lot. And she said that Madfit was quite a good one. So I thought I'd give them a go. Now I'm gonna make myself some eggs, just as a light morning snack. Wow, my hair. <laughs> a plate of scrambled egg. Not very appealing, I know, but I don't really like having big meals first thing in the morning. So I tend to cook myself something quite small and light and then I'll probably have some fruit um, and then in another hour or so, I'll then have some more to eat. I just don't like being greeted with like big, portions of breakfast first thing in the morning so eggs just a plate of scrambled eggs is my preferred snack of choice in the morning <laughs> check out the shed it's now fully painted we've got a gutter on it a water butt it's got a little uh what do you call this a bolt on it and i've just spent 10 minutes filling it with all my gardening stuff. It's not huge, but it's perfect for me to fill with my compost, my tools, my watering can, and any other bits and pieces. I've just been de-weeding this afternoon. Oh, that sound. Look at those guys. <laughs> Each time I show footage of me gardening in vlogs, my dungarees always get quite a lot of love and they are a really old pair from Gap that I cut into shorts, well, kind of like mid shorts. And they're filthy, they're absolutely covered in, I mean, I don't know if you can see, but just like mud, paint, oil, all sorts. Um, so just for anyone who is concerned about me wearing white while I'm gardening, rest assured these are not pristine, they're not my best dungarees or anything, these are specifically for gardening, they're absolutely filthy. <laughs> I don't know where the energy came from this morning, but I managed to run 
11.5 kilometers. I got to eight and I just kept going. I felt like I was flying and I just thought, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. So I did 11.5. Didn't keep my pace under six minutes the entire way around. There are a couple of kilometers where I was maybe flagging a little bit or maybe stopped to walk. Yeah, there was a few that were like 6.20, but apart from that, I kept them all under six minutes, which I'm really pleased with. I have decided that today I'm going to have a social media free day. I'm going to put the Forest app on and I'm just gonna get on with some other things and basically not go on any social media today because the past couple of days, I've been in a bit of a funny headspace around surrounding social media and just a few other things they're really silly things i won't say what they are because they are really silly and they are kind of based around comparison things like that which has led me to feel a bit paranoid over the past couple of days and it's not good at all so i'm just going to distance myself from social media because even though social media isn't the sole thing that is making me feel this way it is attributing to it and I don't think going on there is going to make me feel any better today and when I'm in that kind of mood when I know that it's not going to bring me any joy whatsoever no matter what I see on there I know it's best for me to just not go on there so I'm going to put the forest app on and do some reading I might might check on my sims it's just I go on there and then before I know it, three hours later and I'm still sat on the sofa playing it, time just whiles away when you're on that game. <laughs> it's really dangerous. So, oh, I'm going to go to the tailor. Completely forgot about that. I got a reminder this morning on my phone to go to the tailor to pick up those pieces I took last week. So I will go for a walk. I'll probably go the long way to the tailor, the scenic route pick those bits up. Really excited to get those actually because I'm just dying to wear all of the pieces. What was it? Three, three pairs of trousers. Okay, I haven't been to the tailor yet because I am trying to book an extremely last minute trip to Scotland next month. And obviously given the circumstances, pretty much everyone is booking trips in the UK at the moment. So things are booking up very very fast and I'm having to make some very big decisions very quickly. <laughs> I have been craving a road trip around Scotland and thought that this is kind of like the best time to do it because you're you won't come into contact with anyone else. I mean like we're, we'll hire a camper van and we'll camp at campsites or we'll do some wild camping but yeah, we won't really come into contact with anyone. We don't. We won't rely on hotels or anything like that. It'll all be very. Um, it'll all be like self-catered, self-sufficient. So, yeah, I was like, let's let's do this. Last night, I spent about two hours just kind of trying to figure out where I wanted to go, what it is that I wanted to do. I say I like because a lot of the time with things like this, I just take control of them, and Dean just lets me do it. And. Yes, yeah, so just looking for a camper van rental company that had availability next month, which is virtually impossible to find, but just found one this morning that's got a very small window available in August for a week. And it's a tiny little camper van, but it's fine. We've stayed in some little tin cans in our time. So yeah, that's, that's happening. I've just emailed the guy and just said, yep, I want to book, yes please. So I'm very excited. I'm just not in that place yet to go overseas. I know so many people have already started to go on holiday overseas and the government has given us the green light to do it, but I'm just not quite sure what my experience would be like, sort of like the other side in, in the other country. I'm just like, I don't know. I'm just not quite there yet. Maybe in like a month or two, I might feel a bit more comfortable with something like that. But at the moment, I thought, why not make the most of what we have on our doorstep? So the next couple of days will be spent putting an itinerary together, which is the fun part. I love putting a road trip itinerary together 
and also booking some campsites. Um, also, so I, I've been craving a Scotland trip for ages and then I pre-ordered this recently and it arrived a couple of days ago. It is the Harkon Scotland Adventures book. This is kind of like, a, it's not quite a guidebook, it's more of a depiction of Harkon's experiences of Scotland and the photography is incredible. I mean, Harkon are just fantastic photographers anyway, but just, oh, Scotland, honestly, look at that. That is something else, isn't it? It's just so beautiful. So I'm very excited, it's something to look forward to and I can't wait to just do something that feels a bit off grid and can't wait to be surrounded by loads of vast landscapes. I'm very pleased with everything that came back from the tailor so I will show you now that everything's been correctly altered. These are the white linen remain trousers that were far too long and far too big around the waist and I did worry that they were kind of past the point of even being able to be tailored but the guy was like nope it's fine I can do something on the waist around the crotch for you because when you're having the waist taken in or you know when you're having a lot of material taken off the back you do have to be a little bit careful because it alters the way the pockets sit so the pockets will start to get closer together and they can slant sort of downwards and it can be a little bit uh, unflattering on the bum I guess and it just looks weird because obviously that's not how the pockets are meant to sit so I worried that that would happen with these and it has happened to a certain extent I will try and show you by shoving my bum in the mirror <laughs> but I don't know if you can see there's one pocket and there's the other pocket they're very very close together and I did say to him when he was pinning it I was like is it is it too close like do you think that this is not really worth it and he was like no no it's fine I think they're, they're just about going to be okay you're kind of any more and they would have the, the pockets would have been touching and it would have looked very bizarre so that's just something to keep in mind if you do have a pair of trousers that are really quite like too big around the waist just be wary of what might happen to the pockets I was also quite concerned about the pleats on the front I just thought if I pull too much from the back is the front going to start you know pulling like that way but actually no they're fine I'm really really pleased with them I've probably limited myself a little bit by getting them taken up so that they can only really be worn with flats but to be honest I don't really wear heels I definitely don't wear heels in the summer because my feet just swell up and I maybe wear like a pair of heels once on holiday when I go out for dinner like I'm just not a heels person so I I I'm not missing out on anything. I would I much prefer wearing flats basically. <laughs> so I think these will look really good with I mean I've got them on with just normal flip-flops now, but they'll look nice with my row flip-flops, my row Ginza sandals as well. I think they'll look really nice with a pair of uh trainers as well. So um yeah, I'm really pleased with these. They're very wide. You know, they almost cover my feet, but I I like that. I quite like quite big wide trousers paired with a a tight top or like you know like a vest or a tank or something so I've just put them on with this black one from Arquette so yeah I am very pleased with these these are the sort of thing that I will have for life really you know a pair of wide easy to wear white linen trousers next thing okay the trousers I was most excited to get back from the tailors were these totem trousers <laughs> I didn't have anything taken off the bottom because I, I wanted to keep this slouchy look plus they don't touch the floor so I'm not worried about damaging them or anything they just needed nipping in at the waist a little bit because they didn't sit quite right um, I'm very pleased with them can't wait to wear these the only thing I would say is there isn't much give in this material or this waistband beforehand before I got them tailored they obviously I felt like I had more room in them but they didn't sit right on the waist uh, so now they look right but they just aren't the type of trousers that I'll be wearing when I'm very very bloated basically they're, they're those kinds of trousers but nevertheless I'm still very pleased with them and I can't wait to wear them I've just paired them with a black cami just for the purposes of this but I actually quite quite like it another great success from the tailor 
sorry this is another all black outfit I just seem to be putting together all black outfits today and this is not the best light for all black outfits jeans great not much can go wrong when having jeans taken up when he was pinning them I just asked him to do it just above the ankle because I find that with my leg length or leg shortness some might say I'm five foot three um, I, I find that that's the most flattering point for jeans to finish basically very pleased with these um, just a great pair of black jeans and then last but by no means least is the Arquette dress that I had taken up just a tiny bit because it almost touched the floor so I had it taken up again just above the ankle so that it suited my height a little better I love this dress so much even before I had it taken up I, I loved it it's one of those dresses that will be worn a lot in the summer I love the square neckline I love the back I mean I love anything that kind of resembles a tent basically but you can see just that little bit that was taken off the bottom has just made this ever so slightly more flattering for my height. I do have a few other bits to take to the tailor actually. I wonder if I could take those next week. They were like my four most pressing items that I wanted to get done, but I do have some more bits. Maybe I'll take them next week. Oh wait, no, he said he's on holiday next week. They will have to wait then. sofa in the kitchen with the door open just a little listening to the thunderstorm that's kind of passing by at the moment oh, I love I love this feeling like just hearing the rain on the skylight and just being indoors when it's raining basically is um, bliss it's one of the nicest feelings oh it's getting really windy now I have also just been flicking through this cookbook that I ordered it is the new deliciously Ella quick and easy book plant-based deliciousness 10 minute and 20 minute recipes and also some big batch recipes because I'm feeling like I'm not very creative with my lunches at the moment and would like to be a bit more creative with my lunches also um, would like to I guess incorporate more veg and things like that and so I thought a plant-based book would do the trick so yeah just sat here listening to the rain flicking through a cookbook I mean I feel very very content and just like that another vlog is done that one felt a bit bitty do you think it felt a bit all over the shop like it didn't really have much direction to it so I apologize about that not my favorite vlog when I was watching it back also I need to apologize for this camera it something's happened to it I basically dropped it a couple of months ago and ever since dropping it I've had issues with the focal the focus ring it has a tendency to kind of it starts focusing on me and then it will kind of like focus on the background and then go back to focusing on me 
I've played around with the settings quite a lot and I can't work out what the issue is so it might have to go into repair I'll do some googling anyway it's like I bet it's not even focused on me now I'm trying to figure out if it is it's probably focused on the background and it has a tendency to focus on the background whenever there's mess in the background okay I'm going to tap it to check it's focused anyway um thank you so much for watching and I shall see you all next week